When you're outside after dark, you may get the sense that something is watching you. This feeling is not entirely untrue because the darkness provides cover to a wide variety of nocturnal creatures, including formidable looking wolf spiders. All right, simple video today. Tonight, we're out in the woods and we're looking for wolf spiders. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie, some nights it is really nerve wracking being out here. Tonight, it's a little bit cooler. So there's not as many weird things calling from the trees as you can hear when I stop talking. So it's a little bit calmer and a little less eerie. Once the sun is set, the outdoors become a whole new world. Nocturnal creatures creep out from the various covers they were hiding under during the day and begin to forage for food. Cave crickets and millipedes are among some of the weird creatures you may be able to find in an after dark adventure but today, we're after wolf spiders. All right, we're out by the creek now. It's probably the best spot to look for wolf spiders. I tend to see a lot of big, big tigrosas out here. If you're gonna catch a wolf spider, honestly, go big or go home. It's my personal opinion. Wolf spiders get their name by being the sprinters of the arachnid world. While they don't hunt in packs, with their incredible vision, unmatched speed, and hairy bodies, it's no wonder that these animals are the terrors of the leaf litter community. During the day, wolf spiders will be hiding underneath debris or in burrows in the grass. During the hot afternoon hours of the day, you may chance an encounter if you flip over the right board, but your best chance of finding wolf spiders will come in the evening hours or after dark. The easiest way to find wolf spiders and other nocturnal spider species after dark is by shining a light around. The trick with finding spiders, you take your flashlight, you wanna kinda shake it back and forth as you're probing around in the darkness. And what'll happen is, at some point, you'll get the right angle on the spider's eyes and it'll reflect back at you and you'll be able to see them. This is because Many of these spider species have highly reflective eyes. The way this works is that these spiders have evolved a part of their eye known as a tacitum, which is very similar to the part of a cat's eye that makes them appear as if they're glowing in the dark. This tacitum is an iridescent piece of tissue that reflects light in and around the eye so that nighttime predators like the wolf spider can make the most of what little light they can get. The wolf spider is an active hunter and primarily hunts after dark. So in order to survive, they need the best possible night vision they can get. With big eyes and reflective tacitum, they've effectively achieved this goal and made it easier for people like me to find them during nighttime adventures. Now you can hear, there's a lot of crickets out. Now these guys may be mole crickets, so I can't really tell. I don't see any of them moving. But no doubt, if I were a wolf spider, I'd be hunting crickets that are active right now. Oh, there's a wolfie. Look at that, that's a nice tigerosa right there. You can even see, look at those eyes shining right back at me. Now this is not the biggest one I've found. Look at that, see those eyes. Reflecting the light. Look at that. These guys are awesome. Now this guy's a little too small for me to try and handle. He's probably about medium size. They'll get like three or four times this size, but that is a nice, nice sized wolf spider. And that is exactly what we're looking for. For more backyard wildlife encounters, click on the video on your screen. I hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.